Hi, I'm Sarah Hoffman, and I'm very excited to be here today on the traditional territory of the signatories of Treaty 7 First Nations, as well as, uh, of course, a very sacred place for the Métis people of Alberta who share this homeland. I'm excited to give a bit of a campaign update. Uh, I was the third candidate to launch a campaign, but I was the first to raise the entrance fee, the first to complete the nomination signatures, and the first to be officially on the ballot. It's very exciting. We've traveled thousands of kilometers from Medicine Hat to Fairview. We've met with hundreds of members, and I've never felt better about the future of our party than I do right now. I'm also excited to announce that we're bringing some extraordinary Albertans together to give me advice so that we can make sure that we are ready to hit the ground running should I become the next leader of Alberta's NDP and the next Premier. Uh, first, we have Dr. John Mettings, who's the former Dean of the University of Calgary's Cummings School of Medicine, as well as the former Chair of the University of Alberta Department of Medicine, and an incredible award-winning researcher. We have the Honorable Marlon Schmidt, my colleague, the former Minister of Advanced Education and former critic for Environment and Parks, and an environmental scientist by training. And uh, lastly, we have the Honorable Lori Sigurdsson, who is the former Minister of Housing, the critic formerly of uh, mental health and addictions, and by trade, she's a social worker. Um, she isn't able to join us today, but uh, is very excited to take on this role as well. I've asked these three leaders to help convene conversations on critical areas, and uh, climate, of course, being one of those, I would like to turn things over now to Marlon to talk a little bit about that. Well, thank you very much, Sarah, for that introduction. I was really pleased that you asked me to take part in this work. Climate change is the greatest challenge of our time and the consequences are happening right now. Unprecedented wildfires and catastrophic droughts are already upon us and we need to take urgent action to reduce carbon emissions and I will be gathering knowledgeable and experienced Albertans together to propose some policy tools to do exactly that. I'm really honored to do this work with you Sarah as an environmental scientist, as an MLA, uh, on the Sarah Hoffman leadership team, and as a father who wants his kids to have clean air to breathe. Thanks so much, Marlon. And uh, Dr. Middings uh, will be chairing the health uh, portion for that policy platform. So thank you, Sarah. I think as many people know, I've been quite concerned about the trajectory of our healthcare system for some time now. And the most frustrating thing, quite simply, is that it doesn't have to be this way. Our healthcare system is suffering because poor decisions are being made by our government leaders and their absolute reticence to consult with and take advice from healthcare experts. So it was refreshing, I have to say, incredibly refreshing when Sarah Hoffman came and asked to talk about healthcare and what could be done. I've spoken with Sarah and with two of the other leadership candidates and after a long discussion with Sarah, she asked whether I could convene a group of healthcare experts and to provide a short series of short and long-term recommendations aimed at creating a better and more resilient healthcare system in Alberta. And I've agreed to do that. I've also confirmed with Sarah that the recommendations we are producing are what I would say open source. These are policy recommendations that can be converted into meaningful plans to help Albertans. And we're happy to share those with people who ask. Our goal is to stop the seemingly inexorable decline of our healthcare system and restore it to a much better state. The state that as Albertans we can be proud of. So I'd like to thank Sarah Hoffman for having the leadership, the courage and the integrity to ask a group of experts to provide health recommendations we are incredibly happy to help and very much appreciate the novelty of being asked. Thank you so much. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, the Honorable Laurie Sigurdsson will be taking on the lead uh, in terms of gathering policy around housing and working with housing experts. We will have much to say in the weeks and months to come. Uh, and I'm so excited for uh, today officially being able to share who the chairs are for these three pillars and uh, the exciting campaign that continues to grow. To learn more about it, please visit sarahhoffman.ca.